I'm driving to Ina, a few miles north of Kilrush and just south of the Burn. This is where St. Tola's organic goat's cheese is made, one of the cheeses that Dave was selling. St. Tola is one of the most well-known goat's cheeses in Ireland. Gorna, tell me a little bit about the origin of the name. Well, St. Tola cheese was first made by a couple called Meg and Derek Gordon. Uh, in the 1980s, Meg went to France to learn cheesemaking, and when she came back here to Ireland, um, in the absence of there being any tradition about uh, naming farmhouse cheeses, she brought back the French tradition of naming your cheese after a local saint. And the St. Tola um, is the patron saint of the neighbouring parish to where we make the cheese. And we're standing here in front of St. Tola's church, and there is a crucifix there in, in, in the neighbouring field. The Gordons made the cheese in the 1980s, and Siobhan Nigavi took over the cheese making in 1999 and brought it up to organic status. So that's where we are today. And when did you become involved in the cheese? Um, I first started working for Siobhan about four years ago, and I look after the sales and marketing side of the business. And you don't make it very far from here, do you? It, it's only about three or four miles away. And you're most famous for the soft ghost cheese. We are, yes. But you make a couple of others as well. We do. Um, in total, we make uh, the soft cheese we make, as you know, in the one kilogram log, but we also make it as uh, a small croton. We make a hard cheese as well now that not a lot of people know about. Mm. Um, this is a Gouda style cheese. It's got a lovely kind of creamy, marbled complexion. And it's got a very sweet, tangy flavour. And the other cheese that we make is a feta style cheese. Um, it's nice and firm. It's got good flavour to it. And it's not too salty. It's salty enough without being too salty. I'd love to see the goats and to see how you make it. Yeah, cheese. sure, of course we can. Let's go. OK. I thought you. All right, sir. <laughs> this is the shed here where our goats are kept uh, during the winter. As you can see, they're, they're very curious. They are. She's particularly curious. Yeah, she's, she's, she's been having a bit of a nibble at your jacket, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and so how many goats do you have? Um, we have around about 230 goats. Um, they're not all milked at the same time, though. Um, we have around about... I'd say we have around about 160 to 170 milkers. We have um, some first years and some kids, and we have some billies. See the big guy over there with the big horns <laughs> and the yellow face? He looks gorgeous. Yeah. And how many different breeds do you have? Because some of them are black, some of them are brown, and then the other And then the ones. white ones. Well, about half the breed are the white ones. These ones here, these are Sarnins. Mm -hmm. And these are like um, Frisians. You know Frisian cows, the black and white, yeah. the big dairy cows? They produce very high volumes of milk. The other two breeds we have, the black ones, these are British Alpine, and the brown ones, they're Toggenberg. These both produce quite high volumes of milk as well, not quite as high as the Sarnins. But what's different about their milk is that it's fattier. It's much, it's much richer in cream and fat. So when you mix the three mi milks together, you get a, good, get a good mix of milk for commercial cheese production. And the milk really does reflect the, the flavours of the environment in which the, the goats are kept. A lot of people say that the milk tastes of herbs and you can taste the sea in the milk and everything. So the goats produce around about a maximum of around about three litres a day each. In commercial production, they would produce up to about four litres, but you get, a, you get a lower yield with organic production. With the soft goats cheese, is it the same process that you would have with, we'll say, a cow's cheese, like a semi-soft cow's cheese, for example? It, yeah, it is it's a very simple cheese to make, basically. It, it's, not, it's not splits, it's not cuts. Basically, we add the, the rennet and the cultures on the, the day of the milking. We let that sit for 24 hours. We then drain the cheese. We let that sit for 24 hours again. We salt the cheese. Our cheese is very pure. It only has 1% salt in. Um, we mix that. We mould it. We let it sit for 24 hours again. Um, and then we have it in the fridge for another 24 hours. And then you can actually send it out for production if, if you want a very fresh cheese. But we actually prefer to let our cheese develop nice flavours, you know, so we wouldn't send it out really for a minimum of about a fortnight. It's get a nice golden skin on the outside and just letting some nice flavours develop in it. And I know that you won um, the awards this we year. We did, yeah. We were for... really, really delighted actually to win the National Organic Award. It's the first time that there's been an organic award um, in Ireland and it was sponsored by the Department of Agriculture and Board Beer. And really it was to recognise um, the growing 
production for all, for any organic products here in Ireland. Well, congratulations. I'm sure it was a well-deserved award. Thanks very much.